So this video is going to be about species distribution. So there's going to be a lot of factors, both biotic and abiotic, that are going to affect the distribution of a particular species. So as you can see from this diagram, uh, there's a lot that goes into whether or not a species will be found in a particular area. So things like the abiotic and biotic factors, um, those are going to influence it, predation, um, chemical factors, physical factors, all of those things are going to come together to ultimately determine whether or not a species is going to be able to survive in that particular environment. So when we're thinking about the distribution of species, there's a couple terms that you need to know. So one of those terms is dispersal, which is going to be the movement of individuals or gametes away from their parent location. So it's like uh, if you have people from the Texas population suddenly spread out to Oklahoma, Louisiana, New Mexico, and other states, then that would be an example of dispersal because members of this population are moving and going to a different uh, location. And so sometimes dispersal will expand the geographic range of a population or a species, but again, that's not always. And then in some cases, long distance dispersal can lead to something called adaptive radiation. And so adaptive radiation is going to be the rapid evolution of an ancestral species into a new species that then is going to fill multiple different ecological niches. So it would be like they moved into a new environment and they were able to adapt to this new environment and fill um, distinct niches in that environment that previously weren't filled um, you know, by something before. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30 minute one on one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.